Welcome back. In this learning video, what we're going to learn to do is continue our series of analysis against the Superstore US data set. And what we're going to do is just build a simple pie chart. Because you, you can always get more complex, but sometimes you have to start with the basics to actually improve. So here we have a pie chart. It basically has category and percentages on a pie. We, we, very common pie chart, very simple. You see them everywhere. So let's go ahead and create one in Tableau. Um, it's pretty intuitive in this case. So what we'll do is simply focus on the categories. We said it would be a category pie chart. Then we'll stay focused on our profit series, which we've been using for everything. I'll just drag it right to the values. Then I'll hit the show me. I'll click the pie. And then from the pie, we can move it around. We can fit the width. We can fit the height. We can fit the entire view. So we can pop it around, which is great. Let's go ahead and drop category over to the labels. Let's drop profit to the labels, see what's going on. Now we have a category on profit, we have a pie. You can always change the colors by editing the colors of the pie if we really wanted to change the array of the colors that we need to do. But the other thing we can do here is add a quick count, quick calculation, 4% of total. Now we have a pie and percent of total. We also drag the information into the center of the pies. You take a risk of the pie resizes itself, you have an automatic data feed. Being in the center might not be the best idea. Make sure you're on it. Right click, format, come over here to the worksheet, choose white, pie bold, take it off, and voila, everything changes in form, format and color. So it's a, a very straightforward pie. You can get more complicated. You get to, into the road, you have multiple pies, you have size, sizing issues, but this gives you the basic understanding of how to create a pie chart, how to add inline calculations to it or quick calculations, how to move the labels around. Just be careful with the labels though, because moving those labels requires adjustment so the pie changes and really fit. Having the labels outside tends to do a little bit more more friendly for data updates and those kind of things. So it's just a, some things to think about to do it. So you name your sheet appropriately, you know, my pie chart in that regard or whatever you're doing, category analysis pie, and you should be good. I hope this learning video was very helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, just drop something in the comments bar. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We're constantly posting new updates on some of the advanced features and some of the beginning features. So if we, we all just need to get started and sometimes we need to do more. I hope this video helps.